I remember back in the year 1996, I had made a children's story for like a book contest. And I remember it being rejected, but I thought it might have been rejected because of the religious emphasis, because I was a, a Christian at the time, and I put the Bible in near the end. But I called it In the City, and uh, you know, it was the first time I was asked when I was at school about how to make a creative book. And I remember being disappointed that it wasn't accepted back then. But I always wanted to show it. My sisters, my mother and them helped color it, but I drew it. And pretty much it's just about, you know, the way I felt when I was younger. I didn't like dogs or gangs. It was about wanting to be safe, I think. Said so in time, there were five kids. Their names were David, Guy, Jason, Alex, and Gerald. These were real people in the school, I remember. I was... I was him. I was wearing the, originally wearing the grunge look, but then I removed it and I colored in my pants. They lived in a city where cars, buildings, and people were. While they were walking down the street, a ninja gang came. I suppose that that's what I felt like when I was concerned about gang members and things like that, seeing that I was leading a group over here, trying to put the imagery on the, uh, the buildings, the graffiti and stuff. You know, I grew up in, you know, a neighborhood that had, uh, you know, people killed in uh, prostitutions and things like that. So I was just probably just embodying what I seen in my life. This is 11-year-old me. The gang told them to get out of here. David said no. A man came up with a crowbar. The man asked, what was going on? Yep, pleading for peace, but you can't negotiate with certain individuals in this world. I remember having to deal with a lot of uh, removing the envy of, of it not being accepted, the story, and I remember having to screw out the more ruder sayings, like I tried to make a remake of it, but it was originally good, just like this. David said bye and ran out of there as fast as he could, it represented my fears and my inability to want to face that. So you could see broken windows and things like that. I mean, I, it's very interesting to see how I seen the world at 11 years old. Meanwhile, Guy, Jason, Alex, and Gerald were afraid. One of the men thought if they might took three of the kids, they might come back. I mean, that maybe they could uh, beat me up or attack me, I suppose. Kind of scringed out right there, but you see. Then they told, then they took Guy, Jason, and Gerald. They told Alex to get out there while he still could. Alex ran as fast as he could. Meanwhile, David was hiding when Alex ran up calling for David. And it looks like I was. Well, pretty much saying no dogs. I mean, I never liked dogs when I was walking around, so I would go to a place that there wouldn't be that. But I think it was it's about me facing my fears, like don't don't be scared. Then the confidence comes. David told Alex to stop, and Alex did, and then David and Alex found the hideout of the ninja gang. Well, it looks like I was ready to make an attack on that, or at least get them in trouble. I guess I was making myself look rad and hip. Whatever. Guy, Jason, and Gerald somehow broke free from the men of the gang. Well, they got away, and it looks pretty good right now at the moment. David saw Guy, Jason, and Gerald running fast, and David told Alex to find skateboards, and Alex did find five, so in a way it was about escaping. They were showing a helicopter, so... I mean, the story represents the symbolically fighting against violence and getting away from it, but this is, you know, the societies people live in. But with my more added knowledge, it's really interesting to take a look at this again. Guy and the others caught up with David and Alex, and they rode their new skateboards and got away. I did add that uh, one of the criminals got caught in the searchlight. And for some reason, I showed the oil, but uh, looks like a dangerous place to go skateboarding, but it's like Cool Borders or Tony Hawk type moves. 
they told the cops, then they read the Bible. And I wonder if this is the reason why the story got rejected, but as you can see, I'm holding the Bible right there. Oh, come to think about it, this story is 20 years old. And it finally gets shared around. Well, that's why I'm glad about the, you know, the world now, what we have with the, the online videos. You could share your ideas, but you still have limitations, and people still challenge you for what you want. But it's good to, you know, tell these stories. And I mean, to be honest, In the City is basically about wanting to be safe, being together with your friends, and uh, enjoying yourself. It said about the author, my name is David. I'm 11 years old. I live in Sacramento, California with my mom, my little sister, and my big sister. And I was born on March 7, 1985, and I'm proud of being born, and I'm a Christian, and I believe Jesus Christ. He came through me, through the Holy Spirit, and I asked him to come into my heart. My hobbies are playing, Phil games, praying to Jesus Christ, and talking. I wrote this door, this book because it popped up in my mind. I'm glad to know Jesus Christ. So far with the belief, I've come a long way. How people are deceived, tricked, manipulated. You're always evolving in your life and growing. It's always good to look back at your stages of your evolution. I'm thankful for the Lord Jesus and the teachings, but I know that's just one aspect of many more. And this story in the city can have more profound meaning now than ever before. It's 20-year anniversary.